hey, 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 it's the Pacific Northwest Geek here, Echo Zero here, cha, cha, cha. Better be a fan of Prince, or else, mm. <clears throat> get that out of the way. <clears throat> well, I'm here back with another review, another visual vengeance, and I think this is like the third visual vengeance I've done. Yeah, this is the third visual vengeance review I've done. Ooh, I got a little mini visual vengeance series going. Ooh, I'm having a bad hair day. Oops, wrong, wrong thing. Oh, I should cut this hair. It's gonna be such a headache. But I will be looking at the 2002 movie, Scream Queen, starring the one and only the winner Quigley, and this chainsaw's made for a cutting, and that's just what it's gonna do. Directed by Brad Skies, Skies, and featuring has one of the editors, none other than Mark Polonia. Which I find really super cool. This movie, um, it's probably this movie, I guess, was filmed in uh, 1998 and wasn't completed until 2002. And this tells of this, uh, the Scream Queen, Melissa, Melissa Toombs, played by the goddess Lorena Quigley, who is filming this movie called Scream Queen. Um, and there is one day when she's leaving the set, there is an incident. Her car catches on fire and she, she's dead. Oh, Lorena, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. And sometime later, the cast and the director, who is um, not having the best of time, he's feeling terrible over her death. Um, he and others get this letter. Tell them they have to go to uh, this mansion, the house or whatever. And uh, they're going to, I guess, redo the film. Finish the film. He, some of the cast and crew go there. Um, including this one guy who has this doll with his gold mask on that he's talks with and communicates with that's an interesting cat anyways when they get there they see this uh, meet this dwarf um, who's there and they are reunited with a uh, still alive Melissa Melissa anyways when it quickly's character is still alive and there she wants to finish the film I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna ignore that anyways um She disappears, and then one by one, somebody starts killing the cast and crew who have reunited. You get a scene where someone's got like this, one of the swords that's got like uh, like this weird sword that can come apart like like a whip like with all these blades. They run through some girl's throat. A guy gets an, uh, an axe to the chest. Look at some guy gets like his face ripped off or something. And they gotta figure out who's killing them and survive. And what does Melissa, Melissa, Musa, uh, my cookie's character, have to do with these murders? Now, thoughts on the film? Pretty much, yeah, you can see it, it's shot on um, home video. The quality, the lighting is not the best, but hey, it's got Lorena Quigley in it. All is excused. The kills, um, can't really see it that much, but that's the scene where the girl gets a thing to the throat, and uh, that's where the guy gets his face ripped off. Um, it's not super gory. Um, the best kill is probably the girl getting the thing on the throat, around the throat, because I thought that was, that was pretty, that was pretty cool. Um... Uh, there's a song that plays during the 
during the menu for this, also plays in the credits called, uh, I believe it's This Chainsaw is Made for Cutting. I saw a band called Ghost did it. However, it's not the same Ghost that did, you know, um, Rats and uh, Hunter's Moon, you know, the, for the one Halloween movie. Different band. Um, something about the singer, okay, it's making me think of Selena Quigley, but it's probably not. It's a catchy little song because it's pretty much these boots are made for walking, but done has, you know, this chainsaw is made for cutting. Um, if you're a fan of Lorena Quigley, I say watch this. Even if you aren't, watch this. It's pretty cool. Um, the Visual Avengers series is actually turning out to be a pretty awesome series. This is number 13. And um, let's go ahead and look at this. So you start off, you got, the, oh, by the way, I, you might have saw I did a short talking about how when I got this the case was damaged um, I was luckily I had a extra clear one but I'm gonna probably have to end up ordering some extra clear cases because I'm all out because anything happens but anyways you got your sleeve pretty cool little artwork uh, you got Lewina with a chainsaw and I don't recall having uh, any chainsaw kills in the movie but you got her standing over somebody looks like she just cut his eyeball out um, take the sleeve off. Put you right here. Um, cool little cover here where you see a little bit of that gold mask that the guy's uh, mannequin or whatever he had. Same pictures and stuff. Um, let's open it up. This has reverse cover. Um, and oh yeah, let me put this here. There is that that thing I said that, that they that they used to kill that one girl. That's it right there. Um, I like this one better than this one. Um, I like this making movies can be murder. Anyways, let's go right here. This has the stickers like um, the other ones do. I haven't looked at these yet. See we have Fantasy 2 for 1 Rental Independent Previously Viewed, viewed Hot Rental This Movie for Sale 18 Plus Foreign General Interest Low Low pi Price 5 Day Rental and Own Me It also has one of these you know what? Let me, because bloody but uh, this also has a card. Let's go ahead and compare the cards. I know the one here is is, is white. But let's go ahead and compare the cards. Okay, in there. This is for the the bloody muscle bodybuilder has I for video membership card. Rent ten, get run free. And uh, Scream Queen has four star rental, so four star video, 99 cents rental every Wednesday. Large se selection of adult films. So you can see the difference in the cards. Put you back here. This side here. And the stickers. You can put here. It's got a little booklet type deal. You're on the on the on you know pictures behind the scene pictures, um, such as on the behind the scene when they were prepping. I guess that one girl to have a C4 throat, and of course a poster. This is of the lovely Lorena Quigley. Anyways, I highly suggest checking this out and any of the, the Visual Avengers movies. They're pretty awesome. But anyways, I'm the Pacific Northwest Geek and I hope you didn't enjoy that movie, Echo. That movie which had the goddess of the way to quickly in it. You wouldn't let me watch it. You wouldn't let me review it. You bloody bastard. What? 
what? What? What? What was that? Yeah, I'm the Pacific Northwest Geek here, and I will see you on the flip side.